Hey, it's your boy, Sir Rod. Look, I'm just another Sir Rod check-in real quick and uh, just, it's just uh, what I call Sir Rod thoughts. I probably need some medication for this. I just get these thoughts. And I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick since I got such a big response from my last little post of wisdom, if you will. Um, question. If somebody handed you $200, this is $200, and they gave you this with strict instructions to take this money and give it to Susie or, or Barbara or, or Rick or Steve to give this money to someone else. You say, hey, they really need it. I want you to give this money to, the, to, to Rick, Barbara, Susie, or Steve. And you give the money and then just so happen, come down the street, here comes Susie, Barbara, Rick, and Steve, and you shake their hand, you say hello, and greet them, and you, you do some pleasantries and some talks with them, and then you say goodbye, and you keep on walking, and you take their money, and you put it in your, in your pocket, and go on your merry way. Is that not stealing? That's just a question. Is that stealing? Because you really have something that belongs to somebody else and you did not give them what, what was told to you to give to them. Well, I think it is stealing. And likewise, just like that stealing, it's also stealing when you have gifts, talents, abilities that you don't share. See, those gifts and those talents are not for you. They're for somebody else. And, and I say this all the time to my kids and to people that I meet. All the talent that I have is not for me. It was given to me to give to somebody else. And, and it always puzzled me that people hold on or I think it's selfish to sit on gifts and talents and not share with them. Um, people go to their graves holding on, holding on to... To, to, to the gifts and the talents. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. So yeah, that you are holding on to somebody else's stuff. So why are you holding on to their stuff? Give those people their stuff. Don't go ahead and write that book. Uh, become that actor or, or 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 that dancer or whatever you whatever your thing is. Why are you holding on to other people's stuff? Let it go. Go go and do it. And don't worry about the naysayers or the people say, oh, no, you can't or you got to be this. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Everybody starts off rough, if you will. Just get started and go down that road. And you're going to always have people, you can't please everybody. No, you cannot please everybody. I, I saw a video on, um, on, on YouTube of Martin Luther King's speech, I Have a Dream speech, one of the greatest speeches ever ever known to mankind. And on YouTube, there's thousands upon thousands of likes on that speech, but then there's about a thousand dislikes. So you know, for Martin Luther King, so you're never gonna be able to please everybody. I say this, that gift, that talent, if you go out and if you only touch one person with your gift, your talent, or they get something out of it, then your job is complete. Uh, now, the chances are that you're going to reach and touch a whole lot more, but I assure you that that gift, that talent, that thing that you do is not for you, it's for somebody else. And, and, and you might be surprised, like me, I, I, I was given a lot of gifts and talents, and people go to their graves with their pockets full. Yeah, they go to the graves, pockets full, but but I'm going to empty my pockets, you know, and then I did at one point I've only thought I had, you know, I, I thought when I was in school, I thought it was just art, graphics or, you know, artwork, drawing and painting was the only thing in my pocket. But then I, I, I reached down a little deeper and then, then I came out with dancing and I said, oh, wow, there's some dancing. And then I reached down in this other pocket and I came up with some singing. And then I, I, I reached in this other pocket and it, there was some track and feel. And, and, and then I, I reached a little deeper and, 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 and then there was, there was an author. I was writing books. And then I, I reached down in this pocket and 
there was photography. I was I, I was able to take pictures and and then I reached down in this pocket and now I'm I'm doing voiceover work and acting and so look, you your pockets are full of stuff. That's the point I'm trying to make. You don't know what's in your pockets until you just you have to reach down in there and just share your gifts. Share your gifts. Look, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. That's the point. Stop holding on to other people's stuff. Give them people their stuff. What you doing? What you holding on to that for? Go to your grave with your pockets empty. Go ahead and do it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. This is Sir Rod with his Good News Network. All right, you follow me, SirRodPatterson.com. Going to schools, talking to kids about bullying, staying away from drugs, and living their dreams and emptying their pockets. Look, I wish nothing but the best for you. God bless. Going out there. Keep grinding till you're shining. Peace.